Hello, in this video I am going to talk about animals and explain to you what animals English people use to describe footballers. So, animals are used a lot in footballers' nicknames. You have Pato, which means duck in English, but I think that is because he is from an area called Pato Branco in Brazil. Also, Emilio Butragueño, the old Real Madrid forward, he was known as the Vulture. You have El Tigre for Falcao, the Colombian Falcao. You also have El Borito for the legend Ariel Ortega from Argentina. There are many. These nicknames may be because of a playing style. So the Swan is for Marco van Basten because he was an elegant player. Or the Pitbull for Edgar Davids because of his aggressive tackling style. Or maybe because of an appearance. So Ganso, which translates as the Goose in English. He was gangly, long-limbed, so he got the nickname of Goose. Ganso. South America seems to use a lot of animal nicknames for players, but in English we do this too. A goalkeeper can be called a cat, and sometimes in English we say he is a good cat, which means he is a good goalkeeper. Or a goalkeeper can have spider legs. So David De Gea, he uses his legs a lot to save shots, he has spider legs, also, the old Russian legend Lev Yashin, he was known as the Black Spider. There are some animals for defenders, but usually they are not so positive. A yard dog is what English people sometimes call a defender who just kicks players, usually. He makes naughty tackles, similar to Sergio Ramos, maybe. Also, a cart horse is what English people sometimes call a defender who is big and slow, not very positive. Similarly, a donkey can be used to describe a centre-back who is slow. Tony Adams, the ex-Arsenal and England defender, he was known as the donkey. He was a good player, but the media gave him this nickname after a bad performance for England early in his career. In midfield, you can use names for different types of dogs. So a pit bull is used for a midfielder who loves tackling. Also a terrier, which is a small dog, is maybe used for a small player who doesn't stop running, loves tackling, isn't scared of anyone. You can say he is like a terrier. Also another dog is a greyhound. So this is a racing dog and very fast. So usually for a very fast player you can say he is like a greyhound. Another name for this in England, which originated from Yorkshire, is a whippet. So you can say he is like a whippet, which means he is like a greyhound, very fast. A negative word for a midfielder is a crab. So if a midfielder is slow, maybe they are old, but they cannot run as much as they used to. Maybe they only pass sideways or backwards, they don't pass forward. He is a crab. <laughs> Staying with sea creatures, and if a player can jump really high, you can say he jumps like a salmon, the fish, or he rises like a salmon. So maybe he scores a goal with his head, he rows like a salmon. Chicken is sometimes used to describe a player who is weak and doesn't like tackling. You can use it as a verb, so maybe he chickens out of tackles. Also, you can use it to describe players who don't know what they're doing, they're running around, they have no positional sense. Maybe young kids when they are playing, they are running around like headless chickens. A phrase we can say in English for a player who is play acting or diving or who goes down like he has been shot by a sniper is he went down like a dying swan. So he went down very theatrically. He went down like a dying swan. For strikers, well, Arsene Wenger famously said that Francis Jeffers was the fox in the box that Arsenal needed. It didn't happen for him, but I think we know what he means. Somebody clever inside the penalty area. Also, a word to describe a striker could be a predator. So a predator is a striker who is very clever, and always looking to score goals. Also nowadays we have the goat, 
but this is not because of the animal this is because it is an acronym greatest of all time who do you think is the goat okay that's it some animals we use in English to describe football players what animals do you use in your language maybe they are different maybe I have missed some famous players with famous nicknames please comment below thank you for watching see you in the next video